So Labor Day is traditionally the end of summer, right? But it's also the time when political campaigns kick into high gear and Democratic candidates descended on today's parade downtown to win labor support. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has more. From dozens of local unions say the labor movement is strong as politicians try to vie for their support. Ensconced in a throng of chanting steelworkers, Lieutenant Governor and Democratic Senate nominee John Fetterman marched down the Boulevard of the Allies, where he would be joined by Democratic candidate for governor, Josh Shapiro. <laughs> Fetterman, who was recovering from a stroke, did not speak to reporters. His campaign ad said he is still having auditory problems and would not be able to hear and process the questions through the noise of the crowd. But Shapiro used the parade and his support of labor to distance himself from his opponent, Republican Doug Mastriano. A guy who literally wants to take away the union way of life by doing away with unions in Pennsylvania. He wants to support a right to work bill. I'll veto that bill. Though unions have lost membership and clout over the past two decades, the return of the parade after a three year hiatus shows they still have some muscle politically and at the bargaining table. It's pouring down rain, three year delay, one of the biggest crowd we ever had. This is the tenacity of this labor movement, not just here in Western PA, but nationally. Democratic politicians hope to win back some of those working class voters who have drifted away with Donald Trump. Though Shapiro would not comment on Trump, who attacked him in a speech this weekend and accused Fetterman without basis of using hard drugs like heroin. He is someone who, quite frankly, I think has lost his way. We need to focus on what's happening here in Pennsylvania and focus on making sure that we make the case against Doug Mastriano, who's dangerous and extreme. The traditional end of summer is also the beginning of the political season as Democratic candidates for governor and senator continue to mine their base. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.